Hey everybody, I'm back with my next part of the, um, Yak 3 Soviet Fighter video. So, uh, hopefully you watched the earlier one, which I uploaded yesterday. If not, then watch that one after this one or be uh, before this one, depending on what interests you. Uh, if you didn't watch it, then what I did yesterday was I started the base of the plane, and I did the whole interior, which was like the pilot, the steering wheel, dashboard, table, chair, all that stuff. And now I am starting on the outside... Uh, cover and on the um, wheels so I'm gonna uh, time-lapse again and uh, I'll start just so you can see approximately what I'm doing part of this is in Russia so you can just look at the model uh, diagram itself I am doing this part right here which I can't think you maybe you can see it ish uh, which is the axle part that yes yeah, so I'm doing number three so okay here we go got everything out again as usual and let's start is I have uh, attached all the pieces I need for the inside of the plane on that side and I made the propeller and now I'm going to be connecting the two plane sides with the propeller in between and the uh, gliding wheel and those two pieces together to get the main body of the plane. Time opsing again. Okay. Good job. I mean, I guess that didn't work. Okay. Okay, so I've done most of the outside work for the plane part, that part, and this part. And now comes the fun part of merging the two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to add glue to all the tiny little uh, holes right here, through which you can add the other plane. I don't know if you can see the little holes. There's one like right there. <clears throat> so you're just going to add one to there so it stays together. It says it's snap fit, but I don't really think it works as a snap fit and here we go so we'll start from the top and work to the bottom and you should just go lightly because you don't want to break the little pegs and keep going until you hear like a snap not a loud one because that means you broke something but a light one that means that it got connected how it should be connected like there got the top fully connected and now Time for the bottom. All right, got everything connected. I'm gonna time lapse the rest. <laughs> All right, so um, now we're ready to assemble the two big pieces together. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to add this part to the plane, like that, to cover up the. Uh, marks out here. So here we go, we'll add some glue. Just all around the perimeter. And now we're going to add the piece. And just like that. Snap. So it's looking like a plane already. And now, time for the awesome fun part. We are going to add this part on top of the other part, if that makes any sense. Here we go. Okay, okay. Snapping together. All right, so we've got this part together and I'll go into in detail gluing it in the time-lapse. So, time to time-lapse. I just finished. This is the finished product. 
So here you see we have the wheels that are you can retract them in or out, which I think is pretty darn cool. Well, these ones are retracted out. Then we've got outside propeller, tail wings. It's really awesome. So, all right. So I finally finished painting it. it looks really awesome with the gray and dark green camo, and the bottom is light blue to blend in with the sky when you're looking up. Uh, I did the French uh, Marcel uh, Captain style ship, so the uh, top is French colors, which I think is really cool, red, white, and blue. And I made the propeller, and now I will be adding the decals, and I will be back when I've done added the decals. Alright, it is finished. Here we go. So I got those decals on, I got the red uh, star, both sides, stars on the bottom with the exhaust ports. Can't really be a visible scene there. I have the um, little decals on the propellers and I have the nose. And that sums it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tell your friends. And uh, tell me if I should do another model video. Okay, thank you. Bye.